Hello, people, the web and YouTube dude here. Welcome back to another Hacktime tutorial video. Whoa. So, okay, guys, today's tutorial should be rather really easy and straightforward to do, but instead of just jumping right into the tutorial, I kind of want to talk about, well, what GitHub is before I get to this, because some of you guys might not already know what the site is, but for those of you that don't, GitHub is essentially a script slash um, code hosting site in which you can download and, well, upload various projects for different kinds of things and well to be honest it's all around a really good site but sometimes you don't want to actually log into the site and download the file through the browser but sometimes you would rather just like to download the file through the terminal and in that case today's tutorial is for you because I'm going to be showing you all how to do that right now so essentially to well download a github project through the terminal, all you really have to do is find a project you want, right click the URL and copy it, and then just open up a terminal. And essentially from here on out, all you really want to do is type in get clone, and then paste the URL and you're pretty much done. But before we do that, I'm just going to change the destination to my desktop so that I know where the file goes to pretty much, uh, if that makes sense. but. Yeah, really, once you've navigated to wherever you want the GitHub file to go, you just type in get clone, paste the URL in, and then you should see a progress bar pop up saying how many objects were downloaded and whatnot. And pretty much from there, you're done. As you can see, the file popped up on my desktop, and we can just run it or do whatever we wanted to originally do with it. But yeah, guys, you might be wondering to yourself, what is the benefit to while well, downloading a project through the terminal? Well, one benefit is you can actually download the file and have it automatically be unzipped wherever you want, just like in my case, I just put it right on my desktop. While in the browser, if I were to just download the file right here, right now, through Firefox, I'd be left with a zip in which I'd have to GUI into an unzip or use the terminal to unzip it, and pretty much it's just a hassle. And with that said, there's also another good reason to download a file through the terminal, and that reason is if you want to, well, re-download said file after you accidentally, let's say, broke the file itself. To actually do that, it's fairly simple. All you gotta really do is open up the project, open a terminal, and then from here, you want to type in... And well, from here, you can just type in get remote dash v when you're in the project files folder itself to well get the link to the main project so that you can re-download it because if you were to download it free through your browser there's always a chance you can accidentally clear out your history and then you're kind of left with a broken link to a file you cannot download again while in like the terminal all you have to do is type in um get remote dash v for for bros i believe and also guys i'm really sorry for the random jut cut jump cut before this command i kind of had a brain fart and could not remember this command for the life of me but yeah as you can see right here the url automatically pops up and if i ever mess up a file within this morpheus folder let's say i delete dash bin or something and i'm like oh no what do i do now i can e i can't undo the delete i just did how about we just um re-download the file all you got to do is type in get remote dash v and you just re-download the file and it's already ready to go, already unzipped, essentially. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I'm sorry if I kind of dragged it out. I'm just, I was just trying to make things a little bit interesting considering this command isn't that too difficult to learn. The only hard thing is you have to remember G-I-T instead of G-E-T. Because for some ever reason, I have it set up on my other computer to be G-E-T, which is a really stupid syntax for changing that command to or whatever but yeah essentially we are done with this tutorial and well with that said i hope y'all enjoy but if anything goes wrong and it's and this does not work on your linux system let me know and i'll gladly try to help you out down below in the comments but yeah with that said i'm gonna leave this video off here ttpk signing off peace which is our, well, device connected to the internet, and then we send some packets to, well, and then you just go under the categories here and hit all to contribute.